Guys, this is our new video. It's just it's it's just been cut and it's awesome. It's from Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury. Okay. Okay. Luxury. Okay. okay, let's do another take. The ultimate. Can't take my eyes on me. My thoughts on me just grow and grow. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. And today guys, I want to talk about why Rolex is king. And uh, many people say, ah, oh, it's the Ponzi scheme, it's the Rolex Ponzi scheme. No, 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 back the truck up, back the truck up. I want to talk about why Rolex is king. And I got a couple of little, little cases in point here. This is a wristwatch that my father bought in the early 90s <clears throat> it's an Amiga Court Seamaster he bought this from Wally Bishop Wallace Bishops and uh, you can see now it's uh, it's kind of losing time it's uh, it needs a I think it needs a service a new battery and a service now the reason I want to show you this watch is because this was an Amiga Seamaster and uh, you can see the dial very badly damaged. That's because my dad, he took it in the pool numerous times. He would even shower with this watch on. Now, the problem is, he's, I said, hey, I don't think... I remember saying to him in the 90s, I don't think that's waterproof. And he said, of course it's waterproof. It's a sea master. Sea master. It must be waterproof. And uh, the reality is, it's got a push on back. And a non, a non, screw in. Shit. Fuck. This is really rooted. A non screw in crown, just a push in. So, <clears throat> the whole waterproofing argument for this watch here. Is rubber gaskets, rubber gaskets, no screw in crown, rubber gaskets, no, it doesn't have an oyster case. Now, I want to show you this is an abused Tudor, a Tudor, a Tudor from the late 60s, 60s, 60s. Now, this is using the Rolex Oyster case. So, yes, this has been used and abused. Yes, yes, yes. It's got a non-Rolex, very nasty aftermarket bracelet after the original bracelet got fucked up. Uh, but the thing is, what I'm trying to show you is, because it's got... The back of it has got a special... It's an oyster case. It's an oyster case because it's a oyster case. It's also got a screw in crown. So this piece here will actually, it's got, it's, yes, it's true. It does have gaskets, grommets, grommets and gaskets. Yes, 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 it does. It does have it does have a uh, has had has gaskets as well, but it's a this is actually a manual wine. And uh, although it's been abused, it uh, hasn't suffered the indignity of water damage. 
That oyster case has saved so many watches. And I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, it's, uh, it's amazing that something as simple as a waterproof case with a screw-in crown can make all the difference. My very, very cool Tag Heuer Monaco Caliber 11, uh, I wouldn't really be taking that in water. Yes, it says, it says, it says, 100 meters water resistance. Uh, I wouldn't be testing that out. Not only is the, the racing leather strap fucking expensive to replace, but um, I can see this not ending well. <laughs> it's not ending well. Chronograph should not be taken into water. The only exception may be a Seamaster chronograph or a... Um, a Rolex Daytona. But the whole point is, the reason why Rolex is king is because so many <clears throat> wristwatches, so, you see that fly buzzing around? So many, so many wristwatches have been rooted up by water damage. That's one of the biggest killers. And even if uh, this watch here, um, even if, you know, it's been abused, it's been abused, used and abused, the fact that it's got an oyster case really does help um, to keep it, keep it running and ticking. So my honest answer is there is that you are really, when it comes to waterproofing, there is only one way to go. It's that oyster case used on so many Rolex models. The Cellini is not a waterproof case. And look how successful they became. So that's the whole thing. This waterproofing, the fact that the Rolex oyster case, it's an oyster, it's waterproof, provided such protection. Not just rubber grommets and gaskets. It provided protection that really saved so many of these watches. And that's kind of a lesson. This is what I find. You look at Cartier, many, many Cartier, <clears throat> Cartier pieces. Like I remember in the early noughties, a friend of my, my last ex-wife, she wanted to get a watch. She was thinking, do I get a Rolex Datejust or do I get a Cartier Tank Francais? She being trendy, trendy, trendy wanted the Cartier Tank Francais. I mean, fuck me dead. Jackie Onassis had a Cartier Tank. She actually had a Cartier. She had an 18 carat Louis Cartier, but there's some symmetry with um, the Tank Francais. And Princess Di <coughs> had a Tank Francais in 18 carat, a quartz one in 18 carat. So you understand what I'm getting at. And anyhow, what happened? Fast forward 10, 15 years, she's had two children and, you know, life, doing busy stuff like <clears throat> cooking, cleaning, as a lot of female partners are often involved in that. And us men folk too, we're involved in cooking, cleaning, scrubbing, rubbing, all that stuff. I've been involved in it. And anyhow, the Cartier <clears throat> sent the Cartier in for a battery replacement. And then they said, we must service it. And then water damage. And it's because they use fucking rubber grommets and gaskets for waterproofing. And it's not a screwing crown. And it's not fucking waterproof. It's not waterproof. And even though she didn't swim in an Olympic swimming pool with it, it's not waterproof. So I got to tell you, Rolex Oyster Case, that is is the reason Rolex is king because it's always been a big thing about Rolex waterproofing the oyster case and unlike the Omega Seamaster Seamaster which is just really a name my dad said of course it's waterproof it's a sea master what sort of sea master can't go in water well this fucking one that's for sure so 
And I gotta tell you, that's, that's really the reason that Rolex is so amazing. That oyster case. It's why so many Rolex oysters are with us today. And I knew you hear stories people had submariners where you really, if you're going to take it in water, you've got to really get the seals done every couple of years. Every two years, got to be checked. But uh, And a lot of them, some of them have been damaged. Yes, I grant you that. I know sea dwellers that have been damaged because, you know, the rubber deteriorates and that's just life. But a lot of them have been protected because they've got that oyster case, that waterproof oyster case. And this is the whole thing. <clears throat> that oyster case is amazing. It's amazing shit. So uh, the reason Rolex is king is because of the waterproofing. I'm Archie Luxury. This is the Paul Pluto channel. It's the Archie Luxury channel. I want to hear what you think. Comments below. Comments below. And tell me what you fuckers... Think of that. Superhero more of me. Superhero all of me. The ultimate, the ultimate. Superhero you can see. Superhero more of me. Superhero more of me. The ultimate, the ultimate. Superhero you can see. Superhero more of me. Superhero all of me. The ultimate, the ultimate is me. Never ever sorry. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield the third AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube. Okay.